Welcome to the <coughs> Android Development Tutorial 1. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download the software you need and show you how to get started in downloading all of the Android SDK packages to start developing your own Android applications. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. Open up your web browser, and the first thing we're going to do is download the compiler that you need to start writing Java code and um, so the the compiler that I use and that's very user-friendly super easy to use and download is called Eclipse so go ahead and go to eclipse.org um, and I'll in the comments section or in the description of the YouTube video I'll have all of these links up that I'm talking about so go to eclipse.org and then go to download Eclipse and I download the Eclipse IDE for Java developers here um, and depending on what type of machine you have if you have Windows 7 I think Windows 64 bit works just fine for a Mac I used the Cocoa 64 but Honestly, the 32-bit or 64-bit is not that big of a deal, and I apologize, I'm not very familiar with Linux machines, so for those of you who have Linux, I suggest um, downloading one of them, trying to get it to work, and then uh, troubleshoot it, you know, Google search your problem, and you should be able to figure it out pretty easily. So anyways, download the appropriate Eclipse so go ahead and I'll click on this one for a Mac because I have a Mac um, go ahead and download it and once you once you install it you should end up with Eclipse here and it's pretty easy to install it only takes a few minutes um, make sure if you have a Windows machine that you extract the extract the zip files uh, into a folder that's easy to find so once you once you download Eclipse go ahead and go to the Android developers website developer.android.com slash SDK slash index.html and this link is also in the YouTube description box for you um, and once again go ahead and look at your appropriate operating system um, for me I chose the Android SDK uh, zip file here download that and once you have it download downloaded I recommend extracting it to a folder that is easy to find um, on my computer I have it in my documents folder here so it's it's really easy to find I know exactly where it is alright so after you get that downloaded then what you need to do is go to the will start setting up Eclipse to work with the Android so go ahead and open up Eclipse I'll bring my Eclipse window back go ahead and open up Eclipse and what you want to do is go uh, go to I'm sorry you can't see it here but click on help at the top menu bar and then this little menu will drop down go to install new software and then click add in the name here click write in ADT plugin and this location is going to be hold on one second I'm gonna move this out of the way this location is going to be this this uh, link right here so go ahead copy and paste that into the location and as you can see I have an error it says duplicate location if that happens go ahead and delete the S and just make it HTTP instead of HTTPS um, that should work hmm. I have a feeling that uh, There we go. Okay. If that doesn't work, just go ahead and manually type it into this work with file. Click on developer tools and then hit go ahead and hit next. 
So once you have the developer tools option available to you, click it, go ahead and hit next. Um, read the user agreement if you want to. Um, I never do, which is probably kind of a bad thing, but um, go ahead and click finish or click OK. Um, once you once you get it installed, restart Eclipse. Um, I since I already have all of this installed, I'll just go ahead and uh, exit out of this and show you what to do next. So now what we have is we have Eclipse installed, which is called a compiler. We have the Android ADT plugin installed. And now what we need to do is find the SDK package that we downloaded earlier. So if you have a if you have a Mac, then click on the Windows e Eclipse icon here, go to preferences, and then click select Android. Um, and for the SDK location, this is where you put your SDK folder when you downloaded it or unzipped it if you have a Windows machine. Um, if you so what you need to do is click browse and then mine like I said I put mine in the uh, in the documents folder um, so go ahead and find your folder click open and then once you click open you should have the list of SDK targets etc etc so go ahead and click apply and then choose OK and I think that's pretty much it. Um, and then that should be all you need to do uh, to get you up and running for Android development. So once you get that done, well, you should be you should be good to go and ready to develop your own applications once you have all of your packages installed. Um, I guess that's pretty much it. One thing that I'll leave you with is uh, to get your emulator set up, go ahead and click on this little Android icon here. Um, click on Virtual Devices and I, I created a few emulators to work with uh, to test my application so I would go ahead and create your own. Um, and I, I will probably go over this in tutorial too. Um, select a name, select a target. Uh, typically, I go for the pretty low one so that it's compatible with a bunch of a bunch of different phones. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it.